fastball or the breaking ball? Uh, it was a little bit of both tonight. You know, we were able to kind of steal some early strikes, just going to breaking ball in there to start off. And then from there, it was just keep attacking the zone. Uh, Doobie did great behind the plate today, winning some borderline calls for me. I was huge today. He won a lot of strikes that might not have been there if it weren't for him. Safe to say you knew you had the corners early on. Yeah, he was definitely, uh, like I said, Doobie was catching it really well and presenting it like this down the middle. So we were able to kind of attack those corners where they aren't necessarily easy to hit. How do you pitch in this park compared to off this field? Because things, the ball carries differently out here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, plays huge at night sometimes. So you just have the confidence that if you're in a 3 1 count, 3 0, you can just throw it down the middle and kind of let your outfielders work for you a little bit. Not many balls are going to get out tonight. How big was that first inning? <laughs> I mean, I've had easier first innings before. Uh, it was nice to get out of that with uh, some help from behind the plate. <laughs> I know momentum can be short lived in this game, but, but is this big for you guys going into this weekend? Yeah, absolutely. You know, anytime you can get a win going into a weekend, it's huge for the team. You have some momentum going, you have some chemistry going, it's nice. Your bullpen guys picked you up as well tonight, too. Oh, absolutely. Our bullpen did great today. Our defense, bullpen, that whole aspect of the game was great. Everything up defensively was awesome. Right? Speaking of defense, what did you think of Harrison's play? Like? <laughs> oh my god, I think that was one of the most impressive plays I've ever seen, honestly. I uh, thought for sure that ball was going to drop, and then he came up with it. It was amazing. What did pitching ahead of the count do for you? Uh, just let me kind of work to my strengths. You know, I got to attack the corners, attack up in the zone, throw breaking balls down, and just let me kind of play to my strengths. Are you at the point more than ever where you've got two varieties of the uh, not really. I, I think it's the same. I try to throw the same pitch, but sometimes it manipulates itself a little bit into more of a slider or a breaking ball. I just kind of trust that either one will hopefully be fine. Is it curved though, the way you envision it? Yeah, it's kind of a in between. It's mostly a slurve though, just, and then sometimes it comes off a finger weird or something and it turns into a slider or a, almost a true breaking ball. Where do you want that to sit? Uh, it doesn't really matter. I just I care more about the sharpness of movement, how it's playing that day. Uh, if it's harder, that's great. But it's not necessarily the priority. You've been a bridge guy, a long guy, back to the rotation now. I mean, you're, you're one of so many who's gone back and forth between roles over the last few years. Why do you think you guys can do that? I think it's just a mentality that our pitching coach instills in us. Uh, it doesn't matter what role it is. We're just trying to make an impact on our staff. We're trying to compete. We're trying to attack hitters. The mentality never changes, so I think it changes every aspect you can think of between bullpen, between starting, between a bridge. And Late in the game here, running out to center field, kind of walk us through that play. Um, I think off the bat, I saw that the kid took a, a big swing, so I, was, I knew that Boo was probably going to take a step back. So I was thinking it's either going to be me or Ethan who's going to catch this ball. So I, was, I just took off out there and. Um, I looked at Boo at one point and I could see that he was looking at me like, you're gonna have to catch that ball. And so I was like, all right, well, we'll see what happens. So luckily, came down with it, so. Pretty big to get a win after a tough weekend in College Station. Yeah, this was, this was a good feeling. Good to come back home. Familiar territory a little bit, but it was definitely a good feeling and a good way to come back. How far out there in center were you when you caught that? It looked like you were close to the halfway point between the, the track and the, and the back of the infield. Yeah, I think I got pretty far out there. I don't know exactly where I was, but I, I knew it was a long run, so it was a nice play. The one that you made in foul territory in the eighth, can you break that one down too? Uh, off the bat, I knew Julian wasn't going to have a chance in that ball because he was going backwards, and I was probably the best option to catch that ball. So I just took off, looked to see where the fence was, and then after that, it was just to see what happens. What was the, the mood or the mindset after this weekend? I mean, it's not the end of the world, you know, losing a series, but what did you guys kind of talk about on the way home? We just, everybody tried to stay, we wanted to stay positive. It's going to happen. So it's the SEC, it's a brutal, it's a brutal conference. So we're going to, everybody's good. So you're going to face big time arms every weekend. So it's just, you got to go out there, compete and see what happens.